Hello everybody and welcome to another Live from the Workshop and we're going to be doing another Series um, 11 custom today. I know you said Series 10 then, but we're doing another Series 11 custom. We're going to be doing the Kablam Man. So, um, this is one that a lot of people have been asking me to do for a while and I've been meaning to get to, around to it, but it was finding all the right parts. Um, and it was just a case really of also having to do a lot of sculpting work. So the base figure, as you can see, is a Brigadier figure, but I've cut off all of his trim, uh, all of his sort of belts and things like that, and then sculpted over the middle of the waistcoat again. I've also done some alterations to the hat to make the um, brim of the hat stick out a bit more. And then the head is a, um, a uh, Auton Series 1 figure, which I have then sculpted on lots more to the face. Um, obviously it looks a bit odd now, but hopefully when it's painted it will look much better. But first things first, obviously also I've done the hands as well. Sorry, these are Auton hands, which again, I've just sort of um, uh, added some sculpting on it to make it look like it's got double fingers. It's kind of difficult to, as a, to try and get that looking right, but I'm just using a bit of Muller putts come out. But the first things first is to do the painting of the body because we need to do it in overall blue. So let's get straight on with that. And here is my finished Kablam Man. Um, now this is again one of those ones that I am really pleased with how this has come out because it's come out so much better than I thought it was going to. Um, the head sculpt is a little bit rough around uh, the edges, the face is a little bit rough. But at a distance I don't really think that you would um, notice that, he's got a bit of fluff on him. Um, I don't think you'd really notice that very much. Um, the colours, I am really pleased that they've come out as well as they did. And also the hat re-sculpt um, that I've done as well has come out very well. Um, but the thing that I really am probably most particularly proud of on this is the actual sculpt I've done, re-sculpting I've done to the tunic, cutting off the bits and re-sculpting the midsection because it, uh, in hand you can see the joins and the lines but you know, in terms of just looking at it like this, hopefully on screen it appears like this, but just looking at it from a slight distance, you honestly wouldn't notice that this was the Brigadier's, um, that this was the Brigadier figure to begin with. It's come out so well, um, and far much better than I thought it was going to, and it's certainly one that I am very proud um, to have as part of my collection, because I know it's one that many people have wanted to see, um, especially wanted to see me do, and I know it's one that many uh, people would like to have. Um, I, you know, I really don't have much more to, to say about it on that front. It is one that's just come out very, very well. Um, I will just mention, because um, I know some people are going to ask, I am not planning to do copies of the head sculpt of this on my Etsy and eBay shops simply because I did actually do a trial of this using some um, spare silicon I had and it just won't come out the sculpt right. The, the, the problem is there's too many crags and lines and small little holes in the face um, that it just it just won't come out clearly enough in a sculpt. I was hoping I could, but it is just not something that is possible, unfortunately. Um, but that brings to a close another Life from the Workshop. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. Be sure to the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so, and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.